Maybe you've gotten used to seeing them, these abandoned shopping carts littering our lanes and clogging up our calles. But did you know there's a number to call to get rid of them or that there's a special state law against wheeling them away? Kevin Keen takes us to the shopping cart hotspots tonight. He shows us the real problem and what you can do to get these people to stop trashing Tucson. It's tonight's Not In Your Side investigation. Big Lots, Lowe's, Safeway, and Sam's Club. Dozens of abandoned shopping carts congregated, corralled, and clustered throughout Tucson. Here's a sizable source site. Near Fort Lowell and First Ave, I counted 23 carts from 13 stores. Do we have a problem? Yeah, we have a, we have a pretty big problem. And the more you, the, the more you clue into uh, the, the problem, the more you find. It's one of those things that you find that it, it goes wider and deeper than you ever thought. Joe Miller is part of this new Facebook group dedicated to keeping carts where they belong. Many Tucsonans want to join the cause. On the None in Your Side Facebook page, Mindy Gepcoin writes, It makes the town look trashy. I lived there for four years and it got on my nerves. It's the broken windows theory. If little things are ignored, pretty soon everything is. Jim and Tanya Hart write, Shopping carts might not seem important until prices go up at the stores because they're having to replace them. Do we pay more at the store because of carts carried away? None on your side went to Dan Tennyson, head of Arizona's largest card collection service. Is the cost of doing business, this included, is just built into what we pay at the grocery store? Oh, absolutely. Everything is. Tennyson says stores worry more about something else. A number of 20 to 30 carts out on a street at one time could have a huge impact on shopping hours and, and high volume shopping hours where they literally have no carts available for the shoppers. And that's not good. Carts after cart. Arizona Cart Services retrieves 8,000 a week in Tucson and Phoenix, working for Safeway, Fries, Food City, and others. Abandoned carts, a hassle and illegal. Arizona has a law specifically stating you cannot wheel a shopping cart away and stores must collect abandoned ones or pay a fine up to 50 bucks a cart. Is the law enforced? None on your side checked. In the past few years, Tucson police charged at least a dozen people under that specific law. Obviously, the police in both of the municipalities have bigger and better things to do than chase grocery carts. Tennyson understands the reason behind the problem. Not everyone has a car. And especially in the economy that we're in, folks need to take the grocery cart. They need to get the groceries home. That's true even if you don't have a home. I talked with Jose, who's homeless on the west side. For someone who's homeless, for someone who doesn't have a lot of money, what do those carts allow? Transportation for the materials. I mean, they can't carry a bunch of heavy stuff with them, you know? I know it looks trashy, but you do what you got to do to survive. The argument then is to work on the underlying social issues to keep these four wheels off our streets or find other solutions. Some stores like this Target have turned to technology to keep their carts on the property. When you try to take one off of the property, this wheel locks up and you can't move it anywhere. But Tennyson says people have figured out ways around that technology and around everything else they've tried. In Tucson, Kevin Keene, Kega Nun on your side. All right, so if you know of a cart or two, 12, 200 in your neighborhood, let's face it, they're everywhere, you can call Arizona Cart Services or you can fill out a form online. We're going to give you that number. It's at the bottom of your screen, 1-800-THE-CART. Pretty simple, or 1-800-843-2278. And stay with us. We'll be right back with the weather.